everyone let's talk about the elephant in the, the room. ever changing Facebook algorithm simply put there's a lot of people on Facebook every single day and Facebook has to find a way to weed through what is going to be seen on someone's page at any given time I have asked some of our top leaders for their input of what they have started to see with the changing algorithm so that we can better help you figure out how to boost your content how to engage your network and how to make the most of your social media business so stay tuned what is happening in the world of Facebook algorithms starters this is something that is not new but Facebook wants to make sure that your friends and family are seen first, not posts that are being super salesy. So any posts that have a link, a dollar sign, anything that says, ask me for pricing or PM me for details, includes the word share, giveaway, free. And they recognize these posts that are overly promotional or overly salesy they're bumping it down in the algorithm so you're not getting seen as much. Links in the comments, links in the text of your post, links, links, links. It screams that you're trying to sell something. And even if it's just you sharing where you purchased a shirt, that is going to bump down in your algorithm you are going to be bumped down so that you're not getting seen nearly as much the word kit the word kit napper the word free those are all things that are starting to be recognized by Facebook here's some things that you can do space them out if you're typing out the word kit K space I space T space if you're using the dollar sign do the dollar sign emoji versus the dollar sign on your keyboard. Put dashes, hyphens in between. If you are posting your link, space it out as well. For example, megandashley.com is recognized as a link. Megandashley space dot space com is not recognized as a hyperlink. Got it? This one may feel a little bit weird, but love your own posts love your own videos Zuckerberg wants to make sure that people are creating emotion with their content make sure to hit the love reaction on your posts not just the like make sure that you are going back through your own replays of your live videos and putting reactions those reactions that Facebook gives you it's not just for our use it's because Facebook wants to see what is getting reactions and what needs to be higher up in the content than regular posts hashtags kill your post now on Instagram that's a different story Instagram uses hashtags in order to find new content find people with like-minded hobbies as us but on Facebook hashtags don't work quite the same and it's actually bogging down your posts so that you're not getting the visibility here's what you need to do if you have your Facebook and your Instagram linked together put the hashtags in the comments so when you share it to your Facebook page the Instagram hashtags are not included on it you're getting it done on Instagram and you're getting it done on Facebook without being penalized I think at this point we've noticed that they are always listening they hear music in the background they are listening to see what we are doing and what our content is it has been said that the word share share my posts all of that is being heard and those posts are being filtered out be very particular about the words that you are using even when you're live words like buy sell share free those are all things that are starting to be heard through our live feeds before you go live go interact on other people's posts Facebook goes by who we have a relationship with best way to show Facebook that we have a relationship with someone is to comment and interact on their posts so the same way that we would give reactions to our posts go comment and give reactions to other people's posts mix it up so that Facebook doesn't see it as spammy where you're just going through and giving everyone a heart Facebook is in love with live streaming options real unscripted so that's why Facebook live 
is actually categorized higher than if you were to just upload a video. Some top leaders have said that they notice when they upload a video, it doesn't get nearly the amount of content as the live feeds do. And especially with the new dual live um, Facebook option where you are able to invite someone into your Facebook Live, that feature is actually getting categorized higher as well. So keep that in mind. Get other people engaged with you. Get people on your lives for you because you are not only being seen by their network, but your network as well. Facebook wants us to give good, solid content. So it's not necessarily always about how many times a day you're posting but giving good quality posts. Focus on really good, valuable content a few times a day over 10 times a day of just random posting. We want content and you're going to benefit in the likes, comments, and share department when you're giving that valuable content. The things that Facebook is working on is figuring out who those over posters are. Try switching up the timing. So try to mix it up, keep it fresh, keep it exciting, and keep it creative. As you know, people like to hear themselves talk. So anytime that you do a question where you are asking people's opinions, they love giving their feedback. And because it has a call to action, we think this is not proven, this is not documented, but we think that Facebook may actually be given, giving posts where you're asking a question or giving a call to action above other posts because people are interacting and they want people to share their opinions. So anytime that you're asking questions or asking people's feedback, you may actually be given a little bit of an edge over other content. One of our top leaders is like amazing guru when it comes to Facebook algorithm. She loves researching this. She loves trying to figure out what is going on. She never really knows exactly what they're doing, but she has learned that it usually is in a two to four week time frame where you're going to start to see things are wonky. Um, things are kind of glitchy. It usually means that something is happening behind the scenes that they're putting through beta testing. That Zuckerberg loves finding out what evokes emotion from people. So the reactions that they gave us with the heart and the thumbs up and the crying and the surprise face, those weren't just for our use to make us happy. That is so that they can filter through what is evoking emotion from people, what is engaging people, so that they know where on someone's newsfeed the content belongs. It is also said, again, not verified, that Facebook is actually targeting overly promotional posts. What they mean by overly promotional is sale, discount, giveaway, comment below, PM me for pricing, message me for details, stuff like that is categorized as overly promotional stuff. Keywords such as giveaway, contest, winner, sale, discount, and pricing are all red flags when Facebook is looking for posts that are considered overly promotional. When the algorithm marks your posts as overly promotional, your visibility goes down to 1.2%. That means that of your entire active Facebook friend user network, only 1.2% of your people are actually going to be seeing that post. All it takes is one post being recognized as overly promotional for your content following that post to also be only be seen by 1.2%. Be aware of the words that you're using on your posts. Be aware of how you are delivering your content. We are real humans not robots. Think about your words before you type them. Here are some words and phrases that tend to decrease the viewers on your posts. Free, freebie, giveaway, win, enter, and contest. That's not it, guys. There's more. Like us, like this, comment, share, sign up, tag, 
tag a friend. How many of you are guilty? I know I am. Buy, discount, coupon, sell, sale, percent off, marked down, hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored, sponsored, ad, affiliate. Those are all going to help decrease. We want to increase our engagement and our content visibility. So given these phrases and words, get creative. Think outside the box. What are other ways that you could say free? Zip, zilch, nada. Get creative, guys. Think outside the box. That's going to help set you apart from the rest. How many people have we seen post about something free? Yes, we love free. We see it every day. What is going to set you apart from the next presenter? If you're going to do an interactive post where you are asking for people's opinions, make sure that it's genuine enough that you can go back and individually respond to every one of those comments. A little trick for you guys. If there's anything on here that we said not to post or words to avoid, you can put those on your images. Anything that isn't an image cannot be tracked by code by Facebook. But remember, when a bunch of people are using the same post over and over, it's gonna get flagged as spam. So again, be creative, think outside the box, create your own content, but remember that you can put dollar signs, you can put free, you can put share on your images, just not in the text of your posts where Facebook can actually search for them.